rolling. Mm. And like, I don't know how they don't, because when we spray, coming closer up here, you know when you start, or your, your gun locks up or something like that? Like, you see that? If you're not back rolling, well, how do you, how do you fix that? You know? I don't know, you know when you're stopping, when you start, like, you don't want that to dry in there, okay? Unless you're dodgy and you want, you don't care about the finish and you know that will pass, that's fine. But you can't have that. And that's, if you're not back rolling the whole run, and that happens once, then like, I don't know what you're doing. We back roll everything. So if the sprayer puts it on even, it doesn't matter. Because this spreads it out. And say you didn't, say you didn't back roll, and you sprayed it, so do it again. That there, right there, it happens pretty easy. You know, a thick blob. Okay, you can just leave it. Maybe you didn't see it. Then you see it the next day. It could be right in the middle of the ceiling, in an important place. Then how are you gonna how are you gonna touch that up when you don't have your spray gun out? Or two weeks later, people have moved in. How are you gonna touch it up? I don't know. Do you know how to? No. Yeah. I don't know. And the number one reason why you have to back roll is because this drywall, the ma manufacturer states that you need to back roll a sealer undercoat. They say it. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's the proper way. Yeah, they say it. And if you don't back roll, it just sits on top like that. Years later, and it happens in bathrooms first from moisture, that would just peel right off. Yeah. I've got some videos there about the paint peeling. And then when you peel it off, the paint, I think there's a lot I want to say about that. Yeah. Start on the corners, because sometimes when you start, as I was showing before, you start and it starts with a spit, and you don't want to start with a spit on the corners. So I'm going to get it going good here and then bring it onto my corners. That's a good bit. <laughs> That's a shit bit, Andrew. Shit bit. You can upload that on YouTube. <laughs> here like that because we're going to be rolling that yeah it's going to be fine right here we go and now when I spray keep it continual no starting and stopping uh, I like to go over it lightly twice, as you just saw. And then when I spray, I don't need to spray right to the corners. Because we know we haven't stopped there. It's got all smooth, it's all smooth around there. 
Um, so we stay in the middle here, and then the, the roller will push it out to the edge. Maybe our spray gun isn't set up right, or the paint is too thick, or whatever the reason, but look, there's a blob there. These things happen, it happens. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do if you're not back roll? Leave it like that? Get out of here. Now it's got that orange peel roller texture. I wouldn't call it a texture pattern, which when you need to touch it up later down the track, mm. you touch it up with a roller, leaves the same pattern. If it's a spray finish, you're gonna see it even though it's flat. Doesn't have a sheen level. Mm. Yeah, so that's just some tips. And then when you're sealing the walls, once again, you don't have to come up all the way to the corners. You come down. So when you're starting and stopping, do it in mid-wall, because you can just roll it out. <laughs> 